Well, tonight, Mid-South doctors shared a mix of concern and optimism of the possible impacts of Omicron spread in our area. Brad Broders is live in Memphis's medical district. Brad, what are local experts predicting? Well, Danielle, infectious disease experts say because Omicron is spreading fast in other parts of the country, it's possible it could lead to a spike in cases here locally. That's the bad news. The good news, because more people are now vaccinated and boosted, those doctors believe infections could be less severe overall and not impact area hospitals as much as it did compared to the Delta surge this past summer. As new information emerges about the COVID Omicron variant, Mid-South medical experts said there's reason for concern. The spread of this, as I mentioned, is, is considerably more rapid than what we saw with the other strains. But also reason for optimism, especially among those vaccinated and boosted. We're still seeing substantial protection from ending up in the ICU or being seriously ill enough to have to go to the hospital. Baptist Infectious Disease Specialist Dr. Michael Threlkeld said Tuesday that while Omicron can infect those fully vaccinated, known as breakthrough cases, the vast majority reported mild symptoms on par with a common cold. We're seeing this relatively milder presentation with this variant in part because so many people are already partly immune, either from vaccination or previous infections. Still, Omicron's emergence nationally could be a reason Christ Community Health Services locally reported a nearly fourfold surge of those getting tested in recent days at this site near Lamar and I-240. While the full impact of Omicron isn't known yet at area hospitals, Tuesday, those in both the Baptist and Methodist systems reported significant upticks of new COVID patients in recent days. The trends over the past 24 hours are uh, we're not we're not happy about it's 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 going in the wrong direction. Um, so I just want to remind everybody again to do proper hand hygiene, wear a mask, get boosters, get the vaccine and the booster. Dr. Threlkeld said while Omicron could lead to a spike in milder cases, he's hopeful it won't again overwhelm hospitals as it did with a record high of COVID patients in early September. People that have had their full series of vaccines and a booster uh, seem to be uh, significantly protected from serious outcomes. Now, as of today, those of the Shelby County Health Department said the number of confirmed Omicron cases here locally in Shelby County remained at 31. However, also on Tuesday, the number of the seven day new case average for COVID crossed the 300 threshold for the first time since September 30th. Live in Memphis's Medical District, I'm Brian Broders reporting.